we worship Allah. No, no, we, no, no. And this is a Muslim prayer pray to a creation. We all worship Allah, who is only one Lord. We are any partner. You are associating partner to Allah. You are doing shirk. Blasphemy. Jesus never said, he said, my father is greater than I. What is that? My father is greater than I. Jesus said in Gospel of John, chapter 8, 42, Jesus said to them, if God were your father, you love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own. God sent me. What does that mean? Jesus, God sent me. Jesus makes a distinction between Almighty God. I'm going to read your Bible. Who is the creator of this? I'm asking you. Who is the creator? They say Jesus is the creator, but there's not a single boss here. But Jesus said he's the creator. God says the only creator. Your Bible, I'll quote about a dozen verses where the Bible says, Almighty God, only one Lord, the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, the God of the Israelites, who is only one Lord, and that Lord alone created everything. Now show me what Jesus created. If you show me anything, Jesus did not even create a fly. Show me I become a Christian in your Bible. Not a single verse. They believe in Trinity, that the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, they are co-equal, co-eternal. None is afore or after another. None is greater or lesser than another. From the creed, from the Athenian creed, show me what Jesus created. We say Allah is the creator. According to the Quran, extensively, Allah said he's the creator. No partner. He created everything. In your Old Testament, the, the, the God of Israelites, go on. Yeah. Don't so, digress, go. To answer, to answer your question there, in John, in John 1 3, it clearly states that all things were created through Jesus Christ. That, that would mean that Jesus Christ would have had to have been before the before all creation, which means he's uncreated. That's standard. It's just the truth. And in a day, you, you, you've skipped the questions I've asked. So, you've completely skipped them. This, this, this topic is about tar weed and the treaty. You've not answered any more questions on tar weed. You've not that, that according to Quran 4 <laughs> 1 7 1, your, your, the, the spirit of Allah, which is called the Ruhana, Literally, is placing into Jesus, and you've ignored Surah 19, 16 to 19, where that spirit, that Ruhana, that that proceeds from Allah, which means it would have had to have been uncreated, it would have had to have been, gave said to said to Mary, I will give you a son, and he becomes a perfect man. So you, you ignore both those statements. You talk about you talk about the, the triunity of the Godhead, bro. You, you, in the in the passages you just described, even in John, in John 16. Jesus says, I, I know, no, in John 10, 30, Jesus says, I and the Father one, first of all. In John 16, Jesus says that, um, let me get the drop, Jesus the says that I, 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 I am the same, the same being, I, no, I and the Father are the same, are the same being. Can I help you? In Mark 14, 62, in Mark 14, 62, Jesus says that I am the Son of Man and, I, and, I, and I'll be coming with the cows of power. And in Daniel 7, 13 to 14, it is actually, it's actually Jesus who comes in the clouds of power and he's given dominion over all things, including over all human flesh, including over all angels. No other prophet would be given those things at all. In Mark 1 1, so I've got enough time. In Mark 1 1, Jesus predicted as, as being as coming from the from um, from Bethlehem and 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 if you look I look at that, if you look at Micah, sorry, if you look at Micah 5, Jesus predicted as the one who goes to his temple because it says the Lord shall come to his temple. Yahweh, heart I deny, will come to his temple. So that, that prediction is made there exactly at that point in time. You've not, you, you have not addressed any of my questions, bro, and I need what you. What do you mean? I've got this John, uh, 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 Nisa 4171. Uh, you know, all the man is got one Lord. Jesus was only a messenger. You want me to repeat again? It means that you're not listening. We, the Muslims, tell you, uh, show me a Muslim that said Allah is two or three in one. You're, you're just making things up. Every Muslim around the world was all even the Jews. You know? The Jews was the only one. You, only you, the Christians, believe that God is three in one. And it's not, it's not in the Old Testament. You mean that God changes his mind? Bible says God doesn't change his mind. If you read your Bible, uh, in, 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 in Malachi 3, 6, God said, for I am God, I do not change. God said, do not change. In James 1, 17, it says that, in John 1, 17, it says that every good, every good and perfect gift, is from the far, from the heavenly Father, who does not change like shifting shadows. The Bible said God doesn't change. So you tell me that God in the Old Testament, God in the beginning, you know, said that He's only one Lord. Or every single prophet in the Bible says only one Lord, only one. And then later on in the New Testament, changes by saying, "No, I'm not only one. I'm three in one." This is nonsensical because it's not here. 
the Old Testament is read, quote the Old Testament from the prayer. Quote to me three verses where God speaks about himself, about his attributes. He cannot do it because those verses go against Trinity. He's not going to quote them. You know what I'm saying? So be here. Almighty God is the only one Lord. We are inviting people to the concept to Islam. Islam means worship the only one Lord, submit your will to only one Lord, and not associating any pastors to, with him. You know what I mean? And one word for that, one in, in Arabic is Islam. Submit one's will to Almighty God. We worship the Creator, not the creation. All the prophets in the Bible, including Jesus, were Muslims. They all submit their will to Almighty God. No prophet said he is God or worship me. He's not here. But you're worshiping Jesus. Show us how Jesus becomes, you know, a quarter from the Quran, how he is. Now, show us how Jesus becomes God. All right, all right, all right. I like how you claim Muslim sources, bro. That sounds like an appeal to authority. Bro, I was asking you about your Quran. Not about other Muslims who believe that you're, how your God may be one. Because they don't even know how their God is one. I've asked many Muslims in this park and they don't know how their God is one. So, bro, don't talk about oneness or even Trinity. Because you, you haven't even shown me how your God is had one. You've just said he's one. That does not negate, negate any possibility of there being any triunity within him. Now, I've asked you to uh, the answer me this question. According to Surah 19, 16 to 19, your God's spirit, that spirit, becomes a perfect man Correct. and says to Mary, I will give you a son. Meaning that he has the ability, that spirit has the ability to give life and also means he's another person. Therefore, you can make sure. The other thing is, you, you, you have, you have, you have, Sorry. I'm gonna go now. Check, check, check. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, you, you've, you've claimed that that nowhere in the, nowhere in the Bible does it say that Jesus is is over free or is in Trinity. We, we do not perceive it like that. You need to show me where in the Quran that it says that tall it says tall weed literal. Where does it say tall weed in, in in the Quran? You won't find it anywhere because that word doesn't exist. All right. Okay. This is the thing. And the other and the other thing is according to your own Quran, according to your own Quran sources, yeah. The kitab, the book, has a mother. And that mother is in heaven. That mother is eternal. That means you've got another God according to your Quran. According to your Quran, you have another God. So that's three gods now. You've, you've, not, you've not once been able to show me. You've not once been able to show me. You're, you're just recording how, how just your God works. I'll be better with you. Finish. You if you want to be late, I'm ready. Can, can commit all kinds of shit. You want to separate? I'm ready. I'm here. Sure. Your God seems to contradict himself on so many levels. It's ridiculous. Now answer my questions. Stop running to the Trinity and answer about your so-called Wahad oneness because you can't answer it, bro. Look, but look, answer it anyway. Bro. Look, this, I think this man I'm here is uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. going round and round, and then and then I can see that you know he's uninitiated. He hasn't. He has neither read the Quran, Bible nor the Quran. I can see that you're unlettered. You see here, uh, Surah Maryam, 1916. Let me read it now, sorry, because you you you've said it. I don't want to read it. So Surah Surah. Mariam, chapter number 19, verse number 16 to 19, yeah? 16 said, And mentioned, O Muhammad, in the book, the story of Mary, when she withdrew from her family to a place toward the east, 17, and she took in seclusion from them a screen, yeah? Then we sent to her our angel, i.e. Gabriel, and he represented yeah, we sent. That's the key. We sent. Um, what, what, are you Christian? No, no, no. We sent to her our angel, i.e. Gabriel, and he represented himself to her as a well-proportioned man. Yeah? 18. She said, indeed, I seek refuge in the most mercy from you. If you should be fearing God. And 19 said, he said, I'm only the messenger of your Lord to give you news of a pure boy, i.e. the son. So, where is the Trinity in that one? I don't know what you're talking about. Explain that. Since you are the expert in the Quran, explain that to us. Explain it. Because you're talking clap trap, bankam and baloney. The, the, talk then. Oh, you want, you want me to talk? Yeah, that's the talk. I want you to know because I'm, I'm, well, I'm, 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 I'm fed up here. Source is actually, it actually says in Surah, Surah 19. Which that, source? That spirit, that spirit gave, 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 listen carefully, gave Mary a son. That's what it says in Pitbull. Yeah, yeah. In what? In what? In what? In what? That verse before, which is Surah 17. I say in where? In Surah 17, in Surah 17, Surah no, in Surah 19 and 17, that verse says that that's Ruhana. It doesn't say Jabril. I don't know where you got Jabril for, but I'll, I'll use your argument against you, okay? Can you speak Arabic? Jibril, Can you quote it in Arabic? If that's Jabril, I just, I just quote it in Arabic. It's, it was Ruhana. Oh, Jibril, Allah, he's Yeah, yeah, if that is Jabril, one minute, bro, I'm talking. If that was Jabril, yeah? Then you, uh, do you mean to tell me that Jabril is all is uncreated? 
had existed in our law, was, was proceeded from our law, is, can give life according to the Quran and, 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 can, and can permit to give life. Are you, are you telling me that's the case? If that's the case, then you have another God in your Islamic trinity. Look, look, this, uh... So that makes it a lot Islamic quadrinity. Because now there's four gods. There's the Kitab, <laughs> Umar Kitab in heaven. That's the book. That's eternal. There's your Allah. There's Jesus. There's, and now there's, the, there's Jibril, according to your sources. So Jibril is uncreated, according to your sources. You have, you have failed to answer my questions, bro, about Tarweed. You've, get, you've, get, you've missed go with the books. You've come with a random translation. That doesn't prove that that is in Ruhana. Show me in Arabic where it says Jibril. Show me in Arabic where that, that, where that, that spirit is called Jibril. You will not find it. I receive my time. Look, you see, I'm going to see, 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 probably these guys, they come here ill-prepared. Ill-prepared, exceedingly ill-prepared. They haven't studied the Bible. They haven't studied the Quran. You go to an Islamic website, you come here, you quote things that you don't know. You see, I quote him out there. You yeah. see what I mean? You know, yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah. I'll wrap up here. You know, I can go outside and wrap up the city. This is the problem. The man comes here, wants to talk about Tawheed. You know what I mean? As I said, you see what I mean? They believe in Trinity, nowhere in the Bible. Express the closest that is for episode John 5 7. Yeah. Maybe the Muslim worship Allah, who is the creator. We don't worship the creation. All the prophets in your Bible, including Jesus, were Muslims. They also be down to Almighty God. John 5 30. I can of myself do nothing as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just because I seek not of my own will, but the will of Him who sent me, who sent Jesus, Almighty God. And last week we talked about where is Jesus? Where is Jesus? You see what I mean? They said Jesus is heaven, and Jesus is now seated at what? At the right hand of God. Jesus on the earth, they said he's fully God, fully man. That's why he was worshiping Almighty God. But in heaven, when he's supposed to be fully God, he's now seated at the right hand of Almighty God. When I ask them, they panic. This is in the Gospel of uh, uh, Luke, chapter number 22, verse number 69. Say that now we see now that the Son of Man, that is Jesus, will be seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven. If Jesus is seated at the right hand of the mighty God in heaven, how can he be God? And why is the Holy Spirit? You see, these people are deluded. He, this man came here ill-prepared. You see, he made a fool of himself, quote, Surah and Nisa 4171, I rectified him. Quoted Surah and Nisa, chapter 4, uh, uh, Surah, uh, uh, Surah, uh, Surah, uh, Maryam, chapter 19, 16 to 19, he lied there. He cannot speak Arabic, he lied there. He said, no, it's not in the, it's another Quran. You see, this is the thing. No, I'm going to go aside when he finished. I'm going to go and finish. I'm going to finish. You, you fi finish first. I'm going to go and finish because I want to call again. You see? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So, let me, let me finish the conclusion. I want to finish now in a minute. Yeah. So, let me finish the conclusion here. So this is the problem is we these Christians here. You see, when they come here, gender is, we know, is he belongs to the DCCI to attack Islam. And they've been trained to come here to ask Muslims questions. Ask them the questions, put them on the spot. That's it. But when you come to the Bible, what, that's why when I come here and pull out my Bibles, they freak out because they haven't studied their Bible. So many verses in this Bible where Almighty God in the Old Testament speaks about his oneness and his uniqueness. But they will never go to the Old Testament. Said. So now, I want to ask them, who is the creator? Because the Quran, Allah, in extensive, the Quran is replete with verses where Allah, Almighty God, Allah, says he's the only creator. Now, when you go to the Bible, there are only two verses. Those verses were not by Jesus, no, the word of God in the Bible. Let's go to the Quran. This is the Quran. You go to the Quran. I'm going to quote Quran, maybe a few verses there for the benefit of Christians, and we come to the Bible and see whether this Trinity or the Triumph God created anything. If you go to the Quran, Allah said in Surah Al Baqarah, chapter 2, verse number 171, says that He is the originator of the heavens and the earth. When he decrees the matter, he only says to be and it is kum fayakun. It's the Quran. Now, when I come here, none of them will quote any verse on the Bible here. Why they are trying God said he created anything. Furthermore, in the Holy Quran, in Surah As-Sajda, 
chapter number 32, verse number 4. Allah says here that it is Allah who created the heavens and the earth, and whatever is between them in six days, then he established himself above the throne. You have not besides him any helper or any protector. So we need not be reminded. For in the Golas Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al An'am, chapter number 6, verse number 1. Allah said that, yeah. Alhamdulillah, Allah is the same as the world, 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 the world. It is Allah who created the heavens and the earth and originated in darkness, in darkness and in light. Yet those who disbelieve hold other, others as equal with their Lord. For the moment in the Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Al-Anbiya, chapter number 21, verse number 33, says that it is Allah who created the night and the day and the sun and the moon, each swimming on their own orbit. Even the scientists say that it is impossible for a man in the desert more than 1,400 years ago to come up with this verse. Because now science has found that, that the sun, the moon, the day and night, they all swim their own orbit, they don't cross. Who, who could have come up with this prophecy? Means that this is the word of Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters. Allah in the God's Quran says, Several verses in the Quran, Allah speaks about him being the only creator. Now, when you go to the Bible now, that Bible, there is not a single, I tell any Christian, not a single verse in the Bible where the triune God said that he created anything. They believe the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, they are co-equal, co-eternal. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost created everything. But I said, have you read the Old Testament? If you read your Bible in the Old Testament, in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 44, verse number 24, your God in the Old Testament, unless you say there are two gods, the God of the Old Testament and the God of the New Testament. But in the Old Testament, God said in the Isaiah 44, 24, I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretch out the heavens, who spread the earth by myself. You said Jesus created anything. I want you to quote a verse in the Bible. Quote me why Jesus said he created anything. Put it in your Bible. Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, the first verse of Genesis 1.1, 1, 1, the first verse of the Bible, the first verse said in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. I say, I'm asking, which God is that? Is that a Trinity God? Is that the, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost? No. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And we know that the God of the Israelites, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, is only one Lord. It's not Trinity. Furthermore, in your Bible, in the Gospel of, I'm going to, even in the New Testament, Gospel of uh, Matthew, chapter number 11, verse number 25, Jesus himself said, he said, and, and, and that day, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of the heaven and the earth. Jesus is calling God in your Bible, Lord of the heavens and the earth. There is not a single verse in the Bible why Jesus said he is the Lord of the heavens and the God, earth. Matthew 11, 25, read the brothers and sisters. Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of the, heaven and the uh, heavens and the earth. For you have hidden these things from the wise and the learned and revealed them to the little children. Yes, Father, for this was a good pleasure. A few more verses. Follow in your Bible. It is mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 45, verse number 18. It says that, it said, for this is what the Lord said. For this is what the Lord said. He who created the heavens, he is God. He who fashioned and made the earth, he founded it. He did not create it to empty, but formed it to be inhabited. He said, I'm the Lord and there is no other. In this verse, verse in Isaiah 45, 18, he said that Almighty God is the one Lord and that Lord created everything. Why can't you go to the Old Testament and read what God said by himself? Well, you go to the New Testament and you are telling me now that God changed his mind. This is incredible, my brother and sister. So many verses in your Bible says that Almighty God is one Lord including in the book of Proverbs. Book of Proverbs, chapter number 3, verse number 19. In Jeremiah, chapter number 32, verse number 17. In the book of Acts, 
chapter number 17, verse number 24. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 10, verse number 14. In Nehemiah, chapter number 9, verse number 6. So many verses in the Old Testament. Almighty God said he's only one Lord and he created everything. Now the Christians, now when he asked them, so you say that Jesus is God. They say, yeah. So what did he create? Yeah, if you go to John 1.10. John 1.10, my brothers and sisters, hold on. John 1.10. They go to John 1.10. Look at the Bible here, my brother. You're going to be surprised. John 1.10. The Christians ask them, is Jesus the creator? They say he's the creator. Why in the Bible? They go to John 1.10 and Colossians 1.16. Two verses, they will come up. Only two. The Old Testament is a breed. With verses as I quoted, where Almighty God is only one Lord, He created everything. Now, John 1:10 here, listen to this, you will be shocked. John 1:10 is here said that. In John 1:10, it says that I said, He was in the world. Remember, He was He was in the world, and the world was created by Him, and the world knew Him not. Here. King James verse on the world was created by him, they said Jesus. But when you go to the New King James Version, NIV, Revised Standard Version, if you read John 1 10 said, he said the world was created through him. So which one is it? The modern translation they took it out. They said nothing was created by Jesus. Here they said it was created through him. This is why we don't believe the Bible to be the word for the person, word of God. They're changing it. The world, the world was created by him, King James Version. These three verses, the world was created through him. And when you go to the Thess uh, Colossians 1.16, it said, everything was created by, everything was created by Jesus. Here, Colossians 1.16, Everything was created by him, King James Version. But when you go to here, NIV and Revised Standard Version, they chalk it out as a fabrication. They said everything was created through him. Which one is it? That's why the Muslims, we cannot rely on the Bible, on the word of God. It contains the word of God. Because nobody, when God says only one Lord, we believe in that. When God said that he's not a man. Hosea 11 now, for I am God, I'm not man. God says he's not a man in your Bible. Hosea 11 now, read it. For I am God, I'm not man. And Jesus said he's the man. Jesus said he's the man in the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verse number 40. He said, Jesus said to his disciples, but now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth which I have from God. Jesus said he's the man. He said he was a man who, who had, who said the truth from God. In that part, Jesus made a distinction between him and Almighty God. So we cannot believe the Bible to be haunted by the word of God. And, my brothers and sisters, why? If you read here, let me give my glasses. If you read the Revised Standard Version, the Revised Standard Version, 32 scholars wrote this. This is what they said about King James Version, about this one here. Hundreds of millions of people around the world, they believe in that. You see, this is what Revised Standard Version, 32 scholars of high eminent, wrote this book. They revised, they said this one has got so many mistakes. Here, this is what he said. The Revised Standard Version, this is what he said about King James Version. He said, yet the King James Version has grave defects. By the middle of the 19th, 19th century, the development of biblical studies and the discovery of many manuscripts made it manifest that these defects are so many and so serious, serious as to call for revision of England in 1870. So that is why my brother and sister, see, as I said, that is why I carry all these Bibles. You see, all these Bibles, they're not the same. And I told them, only one Quran, 140 surahs, from Surah An Nas, so, so, from Surah Al Fatiha, so Surah An Nas, 6,236 verses. No addition, no deletion, my brothers and sisters. So you can see what you are doing, my brothers and sisters, we are inviting you 
to the religion, to all the prophets, which is Islam. You see, when you come here, you have these hate preachers here, Bob and the rest from the DCCI. Their objective, if you don't know, is to come here. They're getting paid to come here and malign Islam and cast as persons on the last and final prophet, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But they haven't studied their Bible, nor have they studied the Quran. We debunk them. All the time they did, we debunk them. And when they come here, all they do, notice them, Bob and the rest, they always ask questions. They've been told, when you go there, just ask Muslims a question. Look at the vulnerable ones, approach them, ask them questions, put the camera on them, and expose them. But they will never come to me. Bob will never come to me. He will go to Samshi and the rest. But he knows I've debated with him three times and exposed him. And when he saw the Bible, the man is always wetting his pants. As soon as he sees me, he starts panicking. He will never debate with me about this concept of Trinity. This is the thing, my brothers and sisters. So Islam simply means worshipping, submitting your way to Almighty God, Allah, worshipping alone and not associating any persons with him. Allah said in Surah Maryam, in Surah Al, uh, Al Imran 319, in the in the light Islam. Indeed, the religion inside of Allah is Islam. Islam, as I said, simply means simply worshipping only one God and not associating any persons to him. That's it. One word for that in Arabic is Islam. All the Muslims in the Bible, every Muslim, every, sorry, every, every uh, uh, prophet in the Old Testament were Muslims. All the prophets. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent so many prophets. In the Hadith, about 124,000 prophets. Uh, all the prophets that came before the last and final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, were sent to their people. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the last and final prophet sent to the whole of mankind. Every person alive today should follow the Quran and the last and final messenger, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, my and sisters, I'm going to uh, call two more verses from the Quran and wrap this up. If you read the Golos Quran, it is mentioned in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 158. Araf 7, 158. Chapter 7, 158. Here, Allah is commanding Prophet Muhammad to say to mankind, He said, Oh Muhammad, Say to mankind, O oh mankind, indeed, I am the messenger of Allah sent to you all, to whom belongs the dominions of the heavens and the earth. There is no deity except, except him. He gives life and causes death. So believe in Allah and his messenger, the unlettered prophet, who believes in Allah and his words, and follow him that you may be guided. So my brothers and sisters, we are inviting you to the only religion acceptable to Almighty God. Christianity Jesus wasn't a Christian. He never preached Christianity. Christianity was formed by the Romans. And today, millions of people are following the Bible, which I wish they would take time to read. From Genesis to Revelation, they will see the Almighty God is the only one Lord. And they will see the contradictions and the inconsistencies in the Bible and the different uh, verses which are not the same. So, one more verse I said in, I'm going to quote, uh, in one more verse of the Quran in Surah Al Imran, which here Allah said, say, Kul Yahal Kitab. Say all people, say all people of the book. Ta'ala ila kalimin sawa in bayna bayakum. That come to common terms, come to common terms as we do as and you. Allah na'buda illa Allah. That we worship not God Allah. Wala nuzuki bi shay'aw. That we associate no patterns with Him. Wala yatik zubadun abadan arbaba mi dudullah that we erect not from among ourselves lords or patrons around Allah, for into Allah. But if, it, if they turn away, then, they, then, they, then bear witness, they are now Muslim, they are Muslims, bound to Allah's will. Wa akra dawana, wa alhamdulillahi, rabbil alameen. Okay. Thank you, bro. You did fantastic, thank you very much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> You stop it, yeah? You, you stop it, yeah? You stop it, yeah? No, sorry, sorry. One of the guys. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll give it. Hey, thank you. Uh, YouTube. Huh? YouTube. Yeah, I'll, I'll, what YouTube channel? Uh, you go to uh, Truth Will Prevail. Truth Will Prevail, sorry. You go? Yeah, he's, uh, he's asking a question. Yeah, Truth Will Prevail. Yeah, Truth Will Prevail. Yeah.